Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iOS video, I'm going to be looking at auto-tune. Can you auto-tune in GarageBand iOS? And more importantly, should you auto-tune in GarageBand iOS? Let's go. So let's not bury the lead on this one. Can you auto-tune in GarageBand iOS? Yes, you can, sort of, through the enhanced tuning feature of some of the presets on the audio recorder. Should you auto-tune in GarageBand? Well, that's a little bit more of a tricky and personal opinion. But what I'm going to do is show you in this video how to do it and then leave you to experiment and play with it as much as you would like to do. So let's jump over to the iPad and jump in and have a look at enhanced tuning here in GarageBand. Now, if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you'd be familiar with, perhaps a little bit sick of hearing this particular song, but I wanted to use this just to show what we can do with enhanced tuning here in GarageBand. So here's the song as it is at the moment. I'll just play a little piece. I watched a movie back in 85. The kids so it's got a lead vocal that you can see on this track here and right through here, we've got a bunch of other guitars, drums, etc., and a bunch of backing vocals as well. So we're going to focus in on this lead vocal and let's first look at the settings that we have on this vocal already. You can see I've got a customized uh, vocal setting called College Lead, but this one's actually based on the lead vocals. So if we go in here and have a look here, you can see we can select lead vocals. The custom there will come up when you save, so you can hit the save up here. It's a very handy feature, by the way. Once you've configured your vocals to be exactly as you want, hit that save button and you'll get this custom option and your custom vocals will be saved in there. But we're not looking at that today. Let's look at auto-tune. So you can see in this vocal, we have pitch control as one of the options here. Now this is available in a couple of settings. I'll go back to the vocals here in lead vocals. You can see we have pitch control there available and also in our radio ready, we have pitch control. Our other ones, we have different customized functions that we can use there, but those first two options are the ones that we're looking at that are going to have pitch control. So here I am back at my customized college lead vocal settings and you can see here I've got pitch control turned completely off. When I go to the settings over here and go into plugins and EQ, you can see that the enhanced tuning, which is the other name that GarageBand gives, and the pitch control are both completely off. Side note, you may not have worked this out or you may have on your own, but all of these actually relate to these knobs over here. And as you come in and do your different settings here, that's actually gonna be affected by moving these dials. So you can see here as I bring the compressor down, it brings the threshold up and the mix down. If I push it back up to where it was, the compression, the number, amount of compression in the mix goes up and the threshold comes down. Doesn't change all of the settings, but does for some of them. So how that relates to this is if we dial in some pitch control here, you can see our enhanced tuning button actually comes on over there on the left, it turns blue. And if we dial that back down and off, it now goes off again. So showing that we've got no tuning enhanced on this track at the moment. Okay, so let's solo this track now and we'll just play back a little bit of the vocals here without any tuning and see what they sound like. I watched a movie back in 85. The kids were driven far away from home and they were left behind. What is this? Pl so there's our vocals without any pitch control or tuning enhancement whatsoever. Let's now go to the extreme. Let's T-paint it up here. And if we put maximum pitch control on here, you'll see when we go into our plugins and EQ now, we've got enhanced tuning lit up there. And let's see what sort of results we get from this level of tuning. I watched a movie back in 85. The kids were driven far away from home and they were left behind. What is this place? Why is everyone so strange? That Okay, so hopefully you can hear that unless that is an actual effect that you're going for, that's not what we really want to hear in this particular vocal. But I just wanted to give you an example of what's going to happen is when you dial that all the way around, uh, the way that it actually works, the way any auto-tuning or Melodyne or pitch control works is that it tries to identify the correct note and then it shifts the pitch to that particular note. So what you can hear there is in some of the 
lines of vocals where I was sort of going up and down, ah, oh, oh, like that, it's going to go, ah, 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 ah. it's going to do that effect that's going to sound pretty bad. So if you've got a rock vocal like this, where you're doing a lot of bending of notes and vibrato and moving between, it's going to sound pretty terrible if you've got the pitch control all the way up. So let's dial this back down now and put it to perhaps a more sensible level, around about a quarter to a third the way around there. And let's play this vocal again and see what it sounds like with just a little bit of pitch control. I watched a movie back in 85. The kids were driven far away from home and they were left behind. What is this place? What so you can hear there that it hasn't actually made much of an impact. Now, thankfully, I hit most of the right notes anyway, so it hasn't changed it a lot, but it's just cleaned up and tidied up some of those notes that I wasn't quite hitting. So that is what you can do with pitch control here in GarageBand. You can actually use it to just enhance your vocals. So if you're listening back to a vocal pass, and yes, you can use this with instruments as well if you record them through the audio recorder, you can actually change that and make sure that you're getting those notes right on. Now, one question you may have is, what if we only want to tune a particular part of a vocal? Well, I won't go into detail about how you can do this, but if you follow me through on this, if we would duplicate this track, we tap it and duplicate it, and then say this particular section, we just wanted to auto-tune this one, we can copy that, find the very start, like so, go to this track here, hit paste, and now we can actually, if we deleted this and then changed our settings on this one, then what it will do is it will just auto-tune that part and then not do this part. So let me show you that now. If we just go ahead and delete that section there, come into these settings and we add in our pitch control and then go back out now what it's going to do is for this first section, it will have the pitch control on because it's using this track, and then the second section, it'll be off. So when we play it back, here's the pitch control on. He made them all declare a major. So you can hear it just does because that went, uh. How is this real? Why are all these kids so drunk? and then it picks up again with it off. And you can do that for any, even a small piece. So if there's one word that you have in this track that you wanted to actually tune, you can copy, paste it down to another track, put your enhanced tuning up on that track only, but then leave your main track without that feature on. So a handy way, if there's only a part of a, a song or a part of a, a phrase that you wanted to tune, you can do that using that method here. So what's the verdict? Well, for me, it comes down to everything in moderation. I think that you can use tuning to enhance a song and to make sure that it's sounding right and sitting right in the mix, then that's fantastic. If you are using it over the top, it's gonna to sound a bit strange, unless of course that's the effect you're going for, in which case, knock yourself out and go for it. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it a little bit informative and gave you a bit of a glimpse into another feature that you may not have explored here in GarageBand. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.